For the last three months, I've been using my iPhone 13 mini instead of the 14 Pro. And I know it kind of sounds crazy. It's rare that a product resonates with me on an emotional level, but that's the 13 Pro. And again, that sounds sort of dumb as well. I originally had the 12 mini after upgrading from the iPhone 10s, And of course, like clockwork, the 13 Pro comes out and I just had to have it. The thing is, I missed the hell out of my 12 mini. And again, like clockwork, Apple has their fall event showcasing their iPhone 14 Pro. And just like the 13 Pro, I had to have it. The 4K cinematic, the better camera, ProRes this, ProMotion that, and everything else in between. From having the 13 Pro and then the 14 Pro, the entire time I sort of just missed my 12 mini. Problem was the 12 mini was inherited by my wife and I wasn't really gonna take that back. And trust me, I know in just about every way the 14 Pro is a better device, but I don't think I care anymore. Now before you roast me for getting a new iPhone every year, that's just something I do. I don't go out to bars, I don't spend money on alcohol, I don't buy nice clothes and watches, I just buy the new iPhone because it makes me happy. So today I'm going to tell you why I swapped from the iPhone 14 Pro back to the 13 mini and my reasons behind it. And if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. On this channel, I talk about gaming, tech, and a few things in between. So if you enjoy the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you don't, you're going to step in water the next time you put on a fresh pair of socks. Okay, so to put this whole thing into context, I need to tell you what the iPhone is to me, and obviously it's not just a phone. It's my line of communication to my wife and toddler, the camera that I literally use for making every single video on this channel over the last year and a half, as well as all the hundreds of other tools you can have in the palm of your hand. The thing is, over time, the bells and whistles simply add up, and with each new release we demand more and more of our phones that we can barely call phones anymore. That said, when upgrading from the 10s to the 12 Pro, it didn't really feel as exciting as I thought it would. And frankly, I kind of felt like I wasted my money. And like many of us do, I turned to YouTube to watch videos to justify my purchase, but what I found instead was this video from Jonathan Morrison and Peter McKinnon where they talk about switching to the 12 mini when everyone else was getting the 12 Pro. I'll have that video linked down below if you do want to check it out, but that same day, I was back at the Apple store and I swapped my 12 Pro to the 12 mini. And again, this year I got the 14 Pro, but of course I'm using the 13 mini. The size, the screen, the simplicity, and all the while it's so freaking powerful. For once, I bought an iPhone for the size alone and not all the other stuff tossed into the mega marketing mix we see every year. I can say there are still some things to miss when moving from the 14 Pro. I'm not going to pretend like some things simply don't suck. First off is the battery life. And I can easily say if I wasn't a desk worker and I was out and about all day, the battery would probably be a deal breaker. But frankly, everywhere I go, I have access to a charger. And when I don't, I always just use a MagSafe battery pack. Even on my iPhone 12 mini that my wife now has, we opted to just replace the battery when it hit 80% battery health and probably would do it again. And I do want to give thanks to Mob for sponsoring today's video and keeping my iPhone 13 mini charged up. They sent me out their snap stand power set, which is actually far more useful than I thought it'd be, mainly since this acts as a portable MagSafe charger you'd find from Apple. Not only can I charge my phone or AirPods whenever I need to, but can also use this daily as a simple battery extender, even if I'm already at 100%. Layered together with the snap wallet, you can stack them or use them as a dock on your desk, nightstand, or like me at 1am eating cereal when it's four hours past my bedtime. What? I love my cereal. And even if you aren't stacking them, this snap wallet can be used on its own as a stand for your iPhone, both upright and on its side. Not to mention it can hold up to three cards. It has a nice vegan leather finish and looks and feels incredible. You can also connect this magnetic tip for even more magnetic connections and MagSafe magnets. It does also come in black, navy, brown, and purple. I'll leave this link down below in the video description and thanks to Moth for sponsoring today's video. So why after falling so in love with the 12 mini did I get the 13 Pro and then the 14 Pro? Honestly, it's mostly the marketing coming from Apple. I had convinced myself I absolutely needed the better camera to shoot better YouTube videos. That said, after getting the 14 Pro, it felt the freaking same as my 13 Pro. Months in, I had barely touched the new shiny 4K cinematic mode. And honestly, the 4K footage was almost the same as my 13 Pro, which was also so similar to the 4K coming out of my 12 mini. What I hadn't realized was that I had just sort of grown out of the limitations of the iPhone camera and not the phones themselves. For myself, I just want to improve my craft. That said, my last couple videos have all been shot on an actual camera instead of the iPhone for once. Is it better? Hell no. Not yet at least. It's like learning to drive stick when you've only ever driven automatic. I will get better, but for now, this won't be better than my iPhone footage. But forgetting about the camera, why do I love the 13 mini? I think you can guess, but it's because it's mini. I like how lightweight it is. How I can throw on my dope ass 80s ballads when I'm in the shower and the speakers are somehow still good. I love you Shaka Khan. Now even with a case on it, it's still tiny as hell. And frankly, specifically to me at least, this still has mostly everything I love about iPhones. Not to mention the 13 mini still has a lot of the great features that makes the 14 Pro great. 
Of course, there's the good camera, the OLED display, the incredibly powerful chipset, and obviously the Apple ecosystem. I simply love this device. Okay, so apart from the battery, what else am I missing from the iPhone 14 Pro? The next thing is probably gonna be the telephoto lens, which is so underrated when it comes to photography. The 13 mini does have digital zoom, but it simply doesn't look as good and you miss a lot of detail. And of course, as a big gamer, I'm an absolute sucker for high refresh displays, the ProMotion on the 13 and 14 Pro are simply beautiful. The thing is though, when you don't have them side by side like this, you really do get used to the 60 Hertz on the 13 mini, and it doesn't really bug me at all after about 30 minutes. Now we all know phones have gotten so much bigger over the years, and since Apple didn't do a 14 mini, I wasn't about to let this 13 mini be the last of the minis to get away. The feel in hand, the ease of thumbage and reach, the lightweight and compact design are just perfect for me, and it's almost like a little gem. It reminds me of the iPhone 5s, which was my favorite iPhone of all time. I even have one framed like a loser, I know. And it's not the first time I've done something like this either. I used to have the M2 iPad Pro, but I did end up swapping it to the iPad Mini 6. And guess what? I use this so much more than I did my M2 Pro. It even has my script on it that I'm reading right now. And I'm starting to realize I'm not the Pro user I once thought I was. And frankly, I place more value in the size and simplicity of my tech versus the raw output. That isn't to say the 13 mini isn't a powerful device either. Straight up, every single game, every video I capture, every photo I take is still an A+. And the difference to the Pro lineup, for me at least, is marginal. And I think I'm starting to get the Pro device fatigue, if that makes sense. When you slap the name Pro on everything, it doesn't seem as special. Between all the other devices a tech head like myself has, it's kind of redundant to have a big ass phone when ultimately, I prefer portability. This smaller device helps me consume less, and frankly, I appreciate using my phone a little bit less. Between the constant dopamine hits we get from social media and addicting idle games, a smaller display doesn't entice me as much for those types of consumption. Either way, this could just be me being in love with a dated piece of tech, or I might just be falling out of love with all the latest and greatest. Will I get sucked into buying another iPhone 14 Pro? Probably. Apple's marketing is amazing, we'll find out in the fall. I won't pretend like I wouldn't go down the path of Pro devices again, but for myself, I'm happy with the Mini, and I think that's all that really matters for now. But what do you guys think? Am I out of my mind for swapping to the 13 Mini? Do you hate the word moist? Let me know down below in the comment section, and I appreciate you guys watching till the end. Till next time.